Hello everyone, welcome to Chola Deck Tutorials. Today we're gonna learn on how to create gradient image in PowerPoint. I'll be using our best-selling template Modern X to guide you throughout this tutorial. Let's get started. This is an example of beautiful gradient image slide that we're gonna try to create today. To make this process easier, Every template that you download from Chola Deck comes with a Gradient Maker PowerPoint slide. For example, if you downloaded a Modern X template, these are the list of folders that you will be receiving. One of the folders is known as Gradient Maker and there's a PowerPoint slide in it. Now let's open the PowerPoint slide. Here, we'll get a list of pre-made gradients for you. You can choose your preferred color here. For this example, we'll choose this green. Now, let's click on the slide and then go to Format and then click on Selection Paint. You'll get a sidebar. In the sidebar, there's a rectangle shape and also a picture placeholder. For now, let's hide the rectangle shape by clicking on the eye icon. You can place your desired image in here by clicking on the placeholder. We'll be choosing this nature image. And you can unhide the rectangle shape. As you can see, the gradient image is already formed. But in order to use this, we need to save this as an image. To do that, we need to select the entire slide. You can do this by dragging over the slide. And then, right click and click on save as image. Now you can save this image with your desired name. We'll name it as gradient image. As you can see, the gradient image has been created. Now you can use this gradient image and insert it into your slide to make a beautiful gradient image slides. This is how to create a gradient image using PowerPoint. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. In case if you wonder what is the template that I use in this tutorial, it's one of our best-selling templates, Modern X. I'll add the download link in the description below. That's all for today. If you think you have any other questions or suggestions related to this tutorial, please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you.